It's our moment and our time, and it is up to us. I want President Obama to hear from Minnesota before he stands up and gives that speech. I want him to know. I want him to know that he is standing on the precipice of history. He's standing where Washington stood, where Lincoln stood, where Roosevelt stood, where Johnson stood, where Kennedy stood. He's standing at that precious moment when you can be a great American president or not. <laughs> I'm serious about this, yes. folks. Yes. Let him be a great president, yes. the one who ushered in real health care reform. Yes. We want to see him succeed, and we can't allow to let him get faint-hearted. So we got to send a message to Washington, D.C., yeah. and he's got to get the message before he addresses the joint, con joint session of Congress, and he needs to know that he better not get up there talking about dropping the public option. Yeah. Yeah. We want him to stand up there and proudly defend the public option, proudly defend the fact that America needs to reach a point in time when being denied for a pre-existing condition is a thing of the past. Yes. 